Welcome back to Plus Quinma Plays Crash Bandicoot Purple, Ripto's Rampage. We're over here now. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, I already had it. So when I don't have it, it's green. I did waste my time there. Okay, we want to break all the boxes. But we don't want to fall through bottomless pits. At least with this, I'm not against the clock. Cause that, that would suck. Facing Nina sucked. Yep. Almost missed that. Facing Nina sucked because ugh, it just did. Alright, platforming that I am bad at. Well, at least with these levels, I know if I need to restart. I guess that's a silver lining about these. Hmm. The negative lining, though, is that I'm not great at platforming, so that stuff like that's gonna happen. So. I don't know. Is this part of the game considered good? I'm just I'm just not good at platforming. Am I failing because I'm not good at platforming or am I failing because this part of the game is bad? <laughs> Wee. Okay, so I have to get a running start there too. Up, up. Well, hopefully my uh, brain remembers what this looks like. I can't believe I did that level for nothing. I got all the boxes and I did it for nothing. Ugh. Speaking of nothing. So, basically, you have to be skilled in order to get these boxes. That is what I'm figuring out. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd jump too soon. Huh. I think as a kid when I was playing these, if I got stuck on one, I'd start playing the other version. But then I got stuck on both, and, uh, this might be why. Having to go back and get these crystals, mm, excuse me, is probably why. I'm going to complain until the cows come home. <laughs> that you have to complete you have to complete each mini game I don't understand why they won't just ah okay I tried to be clever but it didn't work I almost fell down there good thing I didn't jump over that. That's a box we get at the end with those green switches. Ah. I guess the footage that I was watching to reach, see if I got it, 
was, um, I don't know. I feel, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, that's right. I'm on a different save file. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm rechecking it wouldn't work because I'm on a different save file. I forgot. I'm playing on my old save file from years ago so I don't have to get all the crystals. I completely forgot. That's, that is why. That is why I had it here, but I didn't have it in the footage. All right, so far so good. Now we are in unknown territory. Um. Yes! No! You have to be running then, time track. All right. I'm getting it! I've only been, I mean, it's probably a good sign that I've only actually died once or twice and I just keep resetting because I missed the boxes. That's probably a good sign. Right? Right. Okay, run. Okay, run. Alright, the next one I run and keep running. Alright. Ugh! Well, there are no boxes up there. There was. Okay. Resetting is painful, but it's not as painful as consistently dying. Because if you're consistently dying, it's like oh, I'm a failure, blah, 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 but if you're resetting, then that's by choice. Whee! Ow. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be clever, but I should know better. I'm not good enough at platforming to be clever. There are a couple of Wii games that I want to play. I know they were at the library, but I don't know if there's still at the library. I'm confused on that front. Um, one of them is the last story, and one of them is Pandora's Tower. I forgot about that again. So, I, I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on them. I want to, but I don't know. And I'd want to do them as, uh, both of them as a review is what I'm thinking. Because I've been, oh, I forgot about it again. I've been wanting to play those games since forever, and I just didn't get them from the library when I had the chance. I don't know why. It's like Sakura Samurai, Art of the Sword. I don't know why I didn't get it when I wanted it, but I, I didn't for some reason. And with Sakura Samurai, it turns out that I dodged a bullet because... <laughs> In my review, I said I was mixed. Oh, I forgot. I was mixed on that game. And... I don't know, I'm considering on adding another, uh, rating to my system. I have Masterpiece because even if I don't like the game, I can recognize that the game is legitimately a Masterpiece. Um, for example... I like Amori, 
I wouldn't call it game of the year. I would rate my game of the year as a as a love rather than a masterpiece, but I would give Omori the rating of masterpiece, just as an example. Um I legitimately forgot about that. I jumped too soon in a panic. I'm not gonna get it this time. See? I'm not gonna get it this time. Um, yeah, so... As I said, love is I love the game. Like is I like the game. Mixed is that I'm not really sure how I feel about the game. Then bored is the game. The game bored me. I regret playing it. And Despise is... <laughs> I freaking despise this game. I, I regret playing it. I regret touching it. That would be this game. This game would get a Despised. But I feel like I should... I don't know. I, f I like that I have board as a rating. And honestly, you can argue that a game being boring is worse than a game that you despise. Because at least with a game you despise, it got feelings out of you. Feelings of hatred, sure. But feelings nonetheless. So yeah, after, even though it's long after the review for Sakura Samurai, I've come to realize I'm... I don't really like it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I did it again. I would replay it, but I don't know. I don't know if Mixed is the right rating for it. If I would stick with Mixed, or if I would say disliked if I had a disliked rating. Mix is, mixed is both mixed and dislike at this point, let's be fair. Ah! I keep forgetting to run! To be fair, I'm talking about review stuff, so that's probably why. I'm hoping that the current review I'm working on goes up before this, uh, Super Chinese 3. I'm hoping that I get done with that. Um, I will not spoil the game I plan to play after Super Chinese 3 for Plus Review, because who knows if that's going to be up or if I'm still going to be playing it, because it's a JRPG, and JRPGs tend to be long. Granted, this game is long, not because it's uh, a JRPG, but because it's flippin' terrible. Uh, I have gotten so much more cynical since joining the workforce. I forgot. <clears throat> what? I was gonna say why did I play want to play this game, but no, I know why. It's it's because I wanted to get it over with. <laughs> I just want to beat these games. Check off that box. I know I don't have to, but I want to one day be able to say I have beaten beaten every single game I own, and I own this game, which means that that's one of the boxes that needs to be checked if I'm going to be able to say that at some point. Say, I don't have a backlog! I can play whatever! <sighs> Alright. Oh. Alright, and then after this one... Go here... I think it's here? No, it's... Ugh! 
I missed it. <laughs> I couldn't remember where the long jump was. Well, at least I'm getting, uh, memorizing the beginning, if that's any, uh, condolence. Because after this, there's that, and then I run. Long jump. And then after this, I run. Long jump. Okay. So there's one, two... Three, four, trash. All right, so there's four jumps, trash, and then a long jump. For this, there's two pieces of trash. And for the next one, it's one piece of trash. And then it's four jumps and a piece of trash. Whoop. And the one that's after the four jumps, it that the one that's after the four jumps and a piece of trash, I have to keep holding the run button. And then what comes after that, I have no idea. I think I had to reset it because I missed it. Eh, it doesn't matter. Eat cheat meat sun sheet trash jump. Ah I hit the ledge. The fact that I'm able to get all these boxes consistently tells me that I can probably do the level itself consistently. Though I could just be kidding myself. I can't believe I did that level for no reason. I might, I want to say I'm going to need a break after this, but I feel like, I just want to get this game over with. This isn't like Stitch Experiment 626, or even Young Justice. Even though those games are torturous, I still had some semblance of fun with this, with them. This, I am not having fun. I despise this game. When I told my brother that I was playing Crash Bandicoot, he asked me which one. I said this one, and he said, why would you put yourself through that? <laughs> so, I'm not the only one who recognizes this game as trash, and he hasn't even played it. Granted, he doesn't own it, and granted, he doesn't beat every game that he owns, but... Ugh. I'm sure what's crazy about Plus Torture is that I am sure there are games that are worse than this. Like Paper Mario Color Splash. I want to get that from the library and play that at some point for Plus Torture. And it's not that it's... From what I recall, it's not, like, poorly designed like this game. It's just... It's boring. <laughs> and because it... Like I said, I you can make an argument that bored is worse than despise because I'm getting emotions out of this. I don't know if I would get emotion, these type of emotions out of 
out of other games, but it's a listening emotions. I had a, um, a, so I took a Bollywood class at university, history of Bollywood, and the instructor, she was saying that if something is able to produce emotions in you, even if they're negative, there has to be something to it. So, since this is getting so many negative emotions, there's there's something to it. And what that something is, is complete and utter garbage. Uh, thank you for suffering along with me. I wish I had a player two by my side to give me moral support in real time, but post-mortem moral support is fine too, and post-mortem is definitely not the way I should have put that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to play a r one of my all-time favorite games after this. A not after today, but after this one period. Maybe Tokyo Mirage Sessions? It's my favorite Wii U title. I haven't played uh, Encore. Maybe I should sometime. Three, four. Ah! I jumped too soon. I I don't own Encore, but the library has it, so. If I ever want to play it, I can get it from there. I treat my library like my local library as basically like a free blockbuster. It is basically a rental shop. Sure, I only get the game for a week, but I can make a lot of damage if I play it consistently. And hey, for it works as uh, sales too. I. I was, um, pretty much, there was twice, there were two times where, um, my family thought that I was overworking myself, so, <laughs> they got, which one was first? Twilight Princess HD from the library, so that I would be forced to take a week off in order to beat that game. Then, they got Astral Chain from the library. Again, I was forced to take a week off so that I could play that game. So I could beat that game. And, unlike, uh, Twilight Princess HD, I absolutely loved Astral Chain to the point where I bought it myself. Ugh, I missed it. And I mentioned before that when I have the time to get, to justify getting Dragon Quest XI from the library, that... I, I can't beat that in a week. <laughs> There's no way. If I like it, then I'd have to buy it. If I don't own a game, then I don't feel as committed to um, um, needing to beat it. I still feel kind of commitment, because I beat... Oh gosh, was it... What was it called? Dragon Ball Son Goku Legacy? I don't know, it was a Wii game. It actually... I actually injured myself with that game. And then... A number of months later, I was just like, eh, I injured myself with it, but... <laughs> and I guess you can argue the same with Paper Mario Color Splash, because I want to play it for the channel. Um... But I could only play up to the first boss on my own before I was just like, no, this is trash, I don't want to touch it. And now I'm just like, I want to beat this game. Hmm. I wonder if that says something about one's mentality, where if you start something, you want to finish it. I think that's just a human thing in general. Ugh. I think 
most humans, like human nature says, if you start something, you should finish it. Or that could just be me. What's the polar bear's name? What is this polar bear cub's name? I'm sure, I'm sure it has a name, right? It's not just polar bear cub. Oh, excuse me. Like Crash would give a name to his pets. I couldn't, for a second I couldn't remember if Crash could talk. <laughs> I was just like, wait, does could Crash talk enough to give his up uh, his pet's name? Yes, he he does talk, doesn't he? And like, not not necessarily the Crash Bandicoot games, but in like Skylanders? Question mark. I don't know Crash Bandicoot lore. I don't I don't know enough about Crash Bandicoot lore to geek out over it. Could I, I could geek out over Pokemon or Kingdom Hearts. You know what's something I need to get back to? Apollo Justice. I've been replaying that too, but... I got to Trial 4, and... I just put it down. <laughs> I don't even know why I put it down. I just did. So that's something I need to get back to. Um, yeah. Apollo Justice is not my favorite in the Ace Attorney series. I like the first case. The second case is... The second case? I don't like the third case. I really don't like the third case. And the reason why I don't like the third case is that... Do you hear that song? Um... Burning Guitar? I can't even remember what it's called now. Way too much. And it just... To the point where it annoys me. Called Burning Love or Burning Guitar or Guitar Serenade. It might be Guitar. I think it's Guitar Serenade. Yeah, I think it's Guitar Serenade. You hear that so much. Ah! I panicked. I panicked. Um. And. I, I like the fourth case until the ending. Alright, this time, I'm not gonna forget that I have to press the run button. There we go. Okay. Well, I got the box. That's the important thing. Yes! Yes! Crystal! Clear gem! Perfect! 